Hi, this is Rob. These are the types of drinks you can make with the Ninja CP307 hot and cold brew system coffee machine. In fact, this Ninja CP307 comes with a recipe booklet with these drinks. Thus, the main feature is that you can brew coffee and make tea in one machine. And you can make hot and cold coffee or hot and cold tea. There are two removable, reusable filter holders, one for coffee and one for tea, to keep the flavors separate. On the control panel, you have settings for coffee and settings for tea. This coffee machine automatically knows whether you put in a coffee filter or a tea filter. If you put in the coffee filter, the coffee settings will illuminate. If you put in the tea filter, the tea settings will illuminate. On this coffee machine, you can select the amount of coffee or tea that you want to make. A 12-ounce mug or cup, a 14-ounce mug or cup, a 16-ounce travel mug, a 20-ounce travel mug, a half a carafe, or a full carafe. You can select the strength and style of your coffee or tea. For coffee, you have classic brew, rich brew, over ice brew, cold brew, and specialty brew. For tea, you have herbal, black, oolong, white, and green. The over ice brew is for both coffee and tea. Used to make iced coffee or iced tea that is not watered down. Cold brew is for both coffee and tea. With this setting, the coffee or tea is brewed at a lower temperature and for a longer time over ice. Specialty brew is used for coffee and tea. It is a super rich concentrate used to make coffee-based drinks like cappuccino or latte, or tea-based drinks like chai tea latte or machacino. Something that you can purchase separately is a Ninja Over Ice Carafe. It is designed specially for iced coffee. With this, you can brew directly into the over ice carafe for convenience. This over ice carafe has thermal properties and is durable. The double wall design is good for keeping iced coffee cold and the exterior dry, resistant to condensation. However, this coffee machine does come with a 10 cup doubled wall thermal carafe. And for these specialty brews, there's a fold away hot and cold frother. A frother is used to put air in milk to make foam, or also known as milk froth. Then you add the froth to coffee drinks like cappuccinos and lattes. This coffee machine has a removable water reservoir with a flip top lid to make it easier to fill with water. There is a delay brew setting. You can set a time up to 24 hours in advance that you want the coffee maker to start brewing automatically so that you can wake up in the morning with fresh coffee or tea waiting for you. You need to prepare the coffee or tea filter and fill the water reservoir the night before. Included with this coffee machine is a recipe book. Some of the specialty drinks you can make with this coffee machine include cappuccino style coffee, a flat white, which is coffee and milk, it is like a Spanish cafe con leche. A mocha, which is made with coffee, ice, milk, and chocolate syrup. A coffee, cookies, and cream frappe. For specialty drinks, a chai tea latte. You need to froth milk for this tea recipe. A ginger peach white tea punch, made with white tea, frozen peaches, orange slice, lemon juice, and ginger ale. A oolong machachino, made with oolong tea ice, condensed milk, and matcha green tea powder. How to froth milk with the flip-out frother. To froth, place milk in a mug until it is one-third full. Whole milk creates a thicker, creamier foam when froth, giving more body to the coffee drink. Low-fat milk and skim milk are much lighter and create larger quantities of foam with larger air bubbles for a more delicate latte or cappuccino. Then, microwave the milk for 30 to 45 seconds or even 60 seconds depending on the recipe. This will make the milk hot. However, some recipes may call for frothing cold milk. On the coffee machine, swing the frother arm open. Hold the cup under the frother and submerge the whisk just under the surface of the milk. This allows air to fold into the milk for the frothiest results. Press and hold the frothing button for 30 to 45 seconds, and that should be it. To avoid making a mess, while leaving the frother just above the mug of froth milk, twist the frother clockwise to detach it from the coffee maker. Then you can carry it to the sink to clean later. How to set the clock. Setting the clock is easy on this coffee machine. After you plug in the coffee machine, the clock will flash. Press the hour button to set the hour. The AM PM indicator will illuminate on the left side of the clock as you are setting the hour. Then to set the minutes, press the minute button. 
After you set the minutes, the clock will flash for five seconds more and then stop flashing. The clock is set. If you unplug the coffee maker or in the event of an extended power loss, then you will need to reset the clock. How to set the delay brew time. The brew basket must be securely closed with either the coffee or tea filter inserted to set the delay brew time. Press the delay brew button. The delay brew button will illuminate and the clock will begin to flash 12 o'clock or the last delay brew time that was set. While the clock is flashing, press the hour or minute button to set the time that you would like the delay brew to begin. The AM or PM indicator will illuminate on the left side of the display as you are setting the desired delay brew time. Once the proper time has been set, select the brew size. If brewing tea, press the tea button to toggle to the tea menu and use the bottom dial to choose your tea style. To change your brew style while in the tea menu, press the tea button again. Once the time, brew size, brew style, and tea type or coffee type has been set, allow the delay brew to stop flashing or press delay brew to activate it. When activated, the coffee machine will beep and delay brew and your selected options will remain illuminated. To cancel delay brew, press delay brew button again. Okay, that is it. If you like Ninja coffee machines, check out this video on the Ninja CFP201 dual brew system. It can brew ground coffee or K-cup pods.